Okay. Let's uh let's see what the upgrade deck does, because this sounds interesting. Uh well they're already all pre-upgraded, which sounds kind of busted. I'm I'm actually assuming upgrade deck is just a bunch of random upgrade upgraded cards with no um, innate thematic setup. So that's actually super not interesting to me. Fish one. Huh. Yeah, no, not interested. I was hoping the upgrade deck would be about like upgrading cards. But alas, let's try this again. The fact that there are so many different starting decks and so many goddamn cards. Wild. Uh Toon Deck, Zombie Deck, Aqua Deck, Fiend Deck, Machine Deck. Oh, no, I gotta have way more score to even earn any of these. What the shit? Alright, Spellcaster, Natura. Let's try Natura. Let's see what this does. Oh, God, wait. Is this like a 3D model, or is this a picture of a, a literal Yu-Gi-Oh toy? It looks like a picture of a uh, of an actual Yu-Gi-Oh toy, but it's I'm having a hard time telling. Oh, there's a setting to unlock all the decks if you want. What? No. Okay, good. I didn't I didn't actually skip him. So what is it in my deck? So Natura Plant, Naturia. Whenever you play one, gain one vine. Whenever you tribute a Naturia for another, gain one leaf. Rock. Wait, plant. Whenever you tribute a plant monster for another plant, applied two constricted to all enemies. Oh god. At the end of turn, gain two block for every rock you've summoned. Hmm. A lot of these are kind of expensive. Dead Branch is tempting. I'm going to grab Gambling Chip, and then we're just going to remove... Ah, uh, I was hoping I could grab more. Grab that. Alright, that'll do. Now I can sell some stuff. What the hell kind of level design is this? This is some cursed shit looking garbage here. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, I guess we're just going to go up the left side, because what else am I going to do? Catapult Zone sounded cool, I just didn't fully understand it. Wait, souls are required to resummon zombies. Gain souls by attributing zombies for other zombies. Summons in graveyard. Okay, cool. Well, let's get rid of our trash that I don't need. Okay, summon game block. Game block, scry two. Summon do damage. Shuffle one copy of this card into your draw pile. Oh, some of these are kind of terrifying. This is going to have weird deck bloat issues and a bunch of other problems. Whenever you gain vines, add a random Naturia card to your hands. Cool. And the tulip gives me more. So how does this work again? Uh, vines, the end of turn, deal damage to all enemies. Damage total depends on the number of vines and Nichuri is currently summoned. Leaves. If you have five leaves, you may choose to consume your leaves and gain three block. Interesting. This is weird. Okay. It's Cliff, Wait, what's the last one? Oh, Nature's Reflection, whenever you gain vines. Gain four blocks, six damage, shuffle one copy of this card into your discard pile. Or... That's a little spooky. Just because. Hmm. When you tribute an insect monster for another insect monster, poison all enemies. Interesting. Unfortunately, all of my insects are summons, it looks like. Let's see. Naturi Insect Summon 1. Beans. Plant Tribute 3. Gain 12 temporary HP. Uh, ooh. Tribute X. Apply X Poison. See, that's kind of useful. Or he's dead. What is going on with any of this? Okay. Plant 3 Tribute. 
Hmm. Oh. Hi. Okay. Ant multiplication, double your max summons. That sounds really good. Exhaust up to two cards. Fill your summon zones with Naturia tokens. Plant Tribute 3, Vine Damage is affected by Vulnerable. For uh, Deal 15 damage for the rest of combat. Whenever a power is played, deal 3 damage to all enemies. That's good. I like Ant Multiplication. So let's go with this one. How's the Yu-Gi-Oh runs going? Really well, actually. Okay, so what do we get rid of? Uh, I'm going to get rid of that. He's going to be swinging at me. And I might as well be kind of planted up here. Okay. Any number of cards is discard. Get out of here. I want none of your business. And get more rock. Okay. At multiplication. Get rid of that one. So do I do 7 damage? To, yeah, I do do 7 damage to him. Yeah, number of vines and number of Naturia is currently summoned. Okay. I get it. It's confusing. But it makes sense. How do I consume leaves? At the start of your turn, if you have 5 leaves, you may choose to consume your leaves and gain 6 block. Huh. Where does it give me that option, though? I've... I... I don't... I don't know. Wait. Summon X plus 1. Overflow. Whenever a card with overflow is in your hand at the end of turn, activate an effect. Increase the maximum summons by the number given. Okay, so that just increments as long as I hold it. Or no. Oh. So we have two. So effectively... Wait, is this two minus? So does this go down? Or does this go up? What else do we have? At the start of turn, if you have no rock summon, add a random rock monster to your hand. Or just a pot of avarice. I like Pot of Avarice. So let's go for that. I know I don't know if this is the right choice. I don't know any of what I'm doing. But it seems kind of useful. But why is it zero currently? I'm confused. I wish I understood better. Okay. Just do that. And do a pot of avarice, which... Oh, I see. It burns all of my summons, but it increases it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. I understand now. And multiplication. Castle walls. Because I can't do anything else. I do take some damage here, but it's not that bad. He's probably fine. Okay, let's pop that guy. We're not going to take too much damage. And the vines are kind of carrying me. There we go. Burn both of those because we don't want them. And turn. There we go. Yeah, just stacking vines seems to do tons of damage. Naturia plant, summon two, deal eight damage, gain block. Tempting. Six damage two time, uh, to two random enemies, draw Naturia. Or spellcaster, tribute one, summon one, channel an earth. What is an earth? Earth orb. Add a random randomized spell to your hand. Huh. I think I might want to do the hydrangea. That way we can actually tribute more. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm doing with any of this stuff. Uh, let's see. 
Hydrangea might be premature. No, probably not. Okay. So let's pop him. Hit the rock. Burn both of those because I don't want it at the moment. Hydrangea. Gets me a little bit. Unfortunately, that's all it gets me. And nothing else I can do for it. Okay, let's just kill this guy. I'd like to kill him. Because he's a problem. But I can't. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're kind of in this awkward zone where I need to hit him and do some more damage. It's not giving it to me. Let's scry. We need more damage. Keep the hydrangea. I should be able to do it. Okay, so if I do the... If I do the beast... Yeah. Okay, we're good. We get our money back. Hmm. So Blockman, summon three, choose to deal eight damage or uh, deal eight damage or gain ten block. It's kind of okay. Add a random gem knight to your hand. What is a gem knight? I have no idea. I think I might want to skip some of these. Or not? They've got gem knights. Okay, we'll figure out what a gem knight does. If that if I get that kind of reaction from it. Oh, let's see, summon two, so that means I should be able to do whatever. So, Gem Knight Alexandrite. Oh! I see, so it just summons an extra dude. Handy. Unfortunately, I'm about to take a bunch of damage. So I guess I can't really do that. But I do constrict a bunch of times. So that's good. I, I'm still... There's so many mechanics. And there's so much. Go for the jaw worm. Just burn those for a bit. Let's see. Just like them in the actual card game. Can't vouch for them here. Fair. But I don't know. Sometimes they reflect. Let's see. Mosquito. Six damage. Whenever this is retained, shuffle copy into your jaw pile. Oh, that's a pain in the butt. Oh, but I can actually... I can totally do it here. Let's hit him once. What's this? Oh, three temporary HP. And channel a cosm... Oh, wait. Channel an alien. Tempting? I'm just going to go for the armor. Hopefully... Constrict? Nope. Constrict triggers after they attack. That's rough. Game block, 10 damage to all enemies. Boop. Didn't really kill him, but that's okay. Hmm. Vines are affected by strength. Leaves are affected by dexterity. Well, that's tempting. Because I think all the other ones aren't that useful. Unfortunately, we're going to die, like, right here. I've picked up some really neat cards, but I just am not in a good spot. And that puts me in a bad place. Well, get some of that. Ooh, Tribute 3, Metallicize. Tempting, tempting. Now, I'm only going to take 9 here. Maybe I can maybe I can survive this, but I'm not betting on it. That Constrict, though. Debuff Armor. What does that do? At the end of turn, lose 2 Focus. Well, I'm not using Focus anyway, so that's good. Okay, let's just do that. I might be... Might be able to live? Butterfly. Four temporary HP, draw a card, shuffle three copies into your draw pile. I... sure. What is this thing? Whenever you 
Gain block from leaves. Gain energy. Interesting. And vulnerable to all enemies. Summon one. Gain some block. I'm just getting random cards here, I guess. But I'm not dead. And thank you, General Warfare, for the 21 month resub. Dark QB for the 49 month resub. Book Reader Man for the fifth, uh, for the eight month resub, and Rip thirteen eleven for the two month resub. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Okay. So this does kind of take over my deck in a bad way, but maybe it's not that big of a deal. Kill this one. Okay. Go rock. Burn the rose. Nothing else for it. All right, and we win. What? First aid kit. Whenever you take unblocked attack damage, gain two regen. Well, that's kind of nice. And any of these good. Then sure your plant. Summon two. Gain one thorns. I like the plant deck. Let's go for the ragweed. It's not that big huge, but it's still useful. Unfortunately, I'm still doomed, but still. Okay. So let's gain thorns. Tulip for some block. Hydrangea. Pot. Gonna take some... Yeah, I'm gonna take some damage. Not much I can do about it. Oh, but we get some regen here. Okay. I think I'm just gonna have to kill these suckers. Okay, 25 damage from him. Nah, I'm dead. Not enough damage. Here. I'm going to I'm gonna save and quit. Let's try and re-roll this one just to see what happens. And thank you, Norsog, for the six month resub as well. Love your content, Wander. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so I'm just gonna uh burn all of these. Do that, draw, drink. Okay, Ragweed gets me some more thorns. Which means we can immediately do this. Gives me two random Neuturias and a bunch of that. Draw pop pot of avarice just for a little bit more. Okay, that feels generally genuinely better. Kill him. Tribute seven. Oh, baby, that's too much. I'm just gonna hit hit him. Because he needs to die in the next round. Well. Uh. I, I think I still die. Nope. Okay. He got wiped. Barely. Summon to increment two. Gain some block. Remove a debuff. I like the Rose Whip. The Rose Whip seems interesting. Unfortunately, the further we go, the more I just continuously feel like accepting death here because there's just not much I can do about it. I want to do this, this build again just to see what happens. Oh, boy, that's a lot of strength. Yeah, I don't think there's much I can do about this one. Get him with that. And we take... We're down to 4 HP. Okay. Well, they both die. Like, my passive damage is great, it's just I've taken too much damage.
I don't think I want any of these. Yeah, I definitely want to go for some kind of weirdo plant build. Hmm. Consume a charge, choose any type, and draw one of that type. Starts with three charges, gain one charge every four turns, can only hold three at once. Okay, so that at least gives me something uh, to fight Gremlin Knob with. For better or worse. Well, let's channel lava. Do not know what that's going to do. Pop the Rose Whip. Okay. Draw Naturia. Cliff. Not helpful. Plant. Well, there's the Hydrangea, but I don't have enough juice for it. Uh, let's see. Grab another plant. Gets me a Crystal Rose. Tribute for 10 damage twice, random zero cost rock card to your hand. But I think I'm dead. Because yeah, that doesn't get that doesn't give me enough. Yeah, that potion was weirdly loud. Okay, let's try that again. Cause it was tempting. Uh, it had some interesting features, but it just wasn't really sure what was going on. Alright, let's turn around. Let's just Let's do this right. Okay, we don't want to skip the merchant. Oh, and we don't have a lot of money because this is not boosted. That's a pain. Okay, for three turns, each time you summon, gain energy. Whoa, Pot of Generosity is great. Let's just remove something. So I have two rocks, a plant, and a generic Naturia. I'm going to get rid of this. Is the mat for sale? It is. And has some interesting effects. Okay, so I see a really good path down the left. Now, it could be death. But if I can survive this, I'm going to come out way, way stronger. Uh, do I do it? I mean, I guess I've got... There are, like, no exit points. Let's give it a shot. What's the worst that could happen, right? Failure? Alright, tulip first. Let's see. Let's do that. Then rock, get rid of these. Because rocks aren't that helpful. I mean, okay, no, rocks are pretty good. They give me extra... They give me extra defense. Let's just burn those. And we're going to have way too many of these Naturia Beasts, which in retrospect I'd like to get rid of. Oh. Now it's giving me the option for leaves. That's weird. Well, he's not... Oh, no, he is hitting me. Shoot. That's ah, fine. Wouldn't have helped me much anyway. Okay. I really wish it would tell me what I'm up against. Let's just keep summoning these, keep burning these. Because, yeah, the problem is the Naturia Beasts keep propagating to the point where I only have them. But yeah, that leaf block feature was not available previously, and I'm not really sure why. Hmm. Because the horn needles aren't that help helpful. Ant multiplication isn't really that good. Plant, Tribute 3, Vine Damage is affected by Vulnerable. Or just Canyon for the extra block. 
I'm going to go for Canyon. Cries a relic to lose. Rude. Okay. These guys... This isn't helpful. Kind of gives me a little bit. Did... Did that just dab? It just dabbed. I didn't know the cultist... It's one of these mods has made it so the cultist now dabs. I... 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 Uh. Okay. I mean, it doesn't matter that much. I'm just... It just popped up and it said it dabbed. Boy, that's that's a thing that's just kind of fallen by the wayside, isn't it? Hmm. A pack caribou. Tribute X. Deal 12 damage, double your vines. That's interesting. And maybe good? Yeah, I gotta try it. Okay, can I get anything here? When spending gold at the shop, heal 5 HP. Heal 10 upon pickup. I mean, that's kind of useful. There's also the Naturia Paradiso. Preda plants, tribute one, deal 10 damage, gain two strength. That's tempting too. Or we just go tiny chest. I'm gonna go tiny chest. We're right in the start of a run. Seems like it'd be useful. So in that case, do I take the safer path? Nah, who takes the safe path? I really am a little tired by that, but that's okay. Alright. Give me a rock. Oh. Uh burn that, keep keep the rest. And stay away from the beast, because the beast is nothing short of an inconvenience. Hmm. No, so I'm gonna do this, then we lead with an alpaca caribou to double my vines. Because we'll take a little bit of damage here. Game rock. Burn these two. Much as I'd like to go for the extra defenses, it's probably not a good idea. And an Achuria beast is actually just trash. It's necessary damage for what I'm trying to do, but it is, it is actual trash. Uh. Oh, and I can't do it anyway. I have no tribute. Yeah, I'm just going to get wrecked here. Because the problem is we have, we need to kill these guys a little bit faster. And my vine damage is not good enough. I mean, okay. I'll... I'll be fine here. Because I can kill him, and we have just enough... Monster... Space. Okay, we're good. Pop canyon, go castle walls. I should have gone canyon much sooner. Probably would have saved me from a lot of damage. Okay, go for that. I might be able to pull this off. Burn those. Yeah, the days are not helping me either. Gift of Anubis. Okay, starts... Oh. Summon one and consume one charge. Starts with the charge. Upon deleting, defeating bosses... I mean, sure, I have no choice. Okay, uh... Rock. Summon three, gain five block. 
I mean, that's not terrible. Golem Sentry. Millennium Golem. Tribute to 12 damage. Channel a Millennium Orb. I'm going to grab Golem Sentry. Oh, and you know what? I'm going to heal. I'd like to do a lot of other things. And we do, we still do actually have an exit path here. I can use the uh, energy drink to pop over to one of the sides if I feel like I really need to after this one. Because Gremlin Knob is spooky. Okay, let's canyon and rock. Burn both of those. Let's see. Token Cliff Rock. Do we do Sentry? Yes. Because now he shouldn't be able to hurt me, I think. Oh. No, is it only based on... What I've summoned for that round? Oh shoot, and I should have done the rock. Oh no, we tributed them all like a fool! I didn't think about it. Okay, let's try that again. I forgot to... I forgot to do this right. Okay. Let's do Cliff. Because yeah, as much as I'd like to alpaca caribou, we just gotta take this slow. So we're going to do this, burn both of these, and do this. Okay, that leaves us with a bunch and a ton of armor. Now I just have to hit him very slowly. Hmm. That's just a lot of damage, isn't it? I really need to be able to increment here. Because I'd like to alpaca caribou. But I can't. Asshole he keeps hitting me for 30 too. But yeah, there's nothing I can do about it. I mean, there kind of is. Okay. If I do these, he dies. We're good. That hurt. Shrink Ray, Emerald Key, and some other stuff. We need maybe the Hydrangea. Because I've got just a little bit of rock, but I don't... I don't actually want to build towards rock that hard. This is nice for the extra strength. I think I want to go for the Hydrangea. And Heavy Jacket. Heavy Jacket is going to probably save this run. Actually, why did I go this direction? That was a terrible mistake. Uh, maybe I'm fine. I'm just going to go for this. Okay. We're kind of good. So, what can I do? I can do an alpaca caribou if I want to. 
But I think I want to go Golem Sentry to get a little bit more. Um, they're going to be hitting me for 18. What do I have currently summoned? A lot of Golem Sentries, and I believe... If I just do Sparks, I won't take a whole lot of damage here. Yeah, okay, I don't take any. Just do those. Don't need those. And then we just wait. We have a lot of natural defenses. We need to be able to increment here. Okay. If I tribute you and then resummon that. Don't. Ah, shoot. Yeah, we're going to take some damage. Dang. It's okay. I think I'm fine. If I do that, we don't actually constrict any of them. That's fine. We didn't take too much damage, and we are good. Okay. Wish I could save when I'm fighting a migraine and losing. Have fun, Wander. Oh, God. Migraines are rough. I am sorry you have to deal with that. Ow. This is going to hurt a bit. Oh, it summons three gold. Wow, okay. That makes a lot of sense now. Just start hitting that guy. So now I've got defense for days. So really what I need is just a summon card that does a ton of damage. Or something. It's mostly fine. I just... Balancing this build is very strange. And actually really cool. hard to work with. It's only hitting for 9. So I can just do both of these. And not have to worry about it. And there's the leaves, but we just skip. Because we kill them with a cliff. Okay. We made it through. First time a card is created each combat, gain energy, channel two random offensive orbs. And what do we have? Hmm. The M Marin. Apply to Constricted. Summon 2. That's, I think, exactly what I need. Alright, and then I'm going to rest up because I am so wounded. Uh, we don't have Pantograph. But we're okay. Alright, perfect. Grab that. I don't know, let's just delete it. Get more vines. And yeah, we definitely need inc incrementation here. Let's grab those. Max out, you can't touch me. Yeah, Marin seems good as it combos with the tiger well. Oh, I probably had a lot of rocks there. It's fine. It's mainly just that it adds scaling passive damage that I don't have to do anything for. Tribute X, gain X block, 10 damage to all enemies. Interesting, but not great? I don't think I want any of these. Okay. The other thing I could consider doing is actually upgrading something. Ooh, upgrading Canyon might not actually be a bad idea. Yeah, let's upgrade Canyon. Canyon Plus means it's cheaper, means I can summon some more stuff. Uh, and let's go Mystery. Upgrade a card into the deck or a special relic. Warp Tongs. Start of your turn, upgrade a random card. But for pain, yeah, it's worth it. Okay, let's just rest again. Okay. We are a tanky dude. Which is good. Burn that. Burn that. Well, the immediate problem is... I need to be able to increment here, otherwise I'm going to remain in bad town. Okay, let's do the Hydrangea. Which burns a couple.
Okay, go for that. That gets him a little bit of con constriction. Rock, cliff, some other things. That's a lot of damage. Just do both of those. That'll give me a decent chunk of defense so he doesn't hurt me too much. All right, we're good. Well, except for all of that. That's kind of a pain. Let's just burn the slimes so we don't have to worry about them. Do you game block? Yeah, I'm going to game block just in case. That uh, doesn't really help. Uh, let's see. Do a beast again. I know there's some pain involved. Okay. We don't want to do anything. Oh, except for the vine. Well, I mean, it messed him up, I guess. We'll just kind of chill. Okay, here we go. So I can do the, the Marin. Constrict that. If I tribute two, then we rock one and just burn that. There we go. So this will give me tons of defense. And now I have like one slot that I can kind of cycle. Ish. Or not. Uh, God damn. Naturia Beast is a giant pain in the ass. I'm trying to understand how this build's supposed to work in the mechanic, and I just don't understand. That makes two of us. It's a mess. Um. Okay, so as long as I have four of them, I'm fine. Otherwise, we could do an Elpac Caribou, but that's a terrible idea. So let's do a Cliff and then just a Tulip and just chill. Okay. I guess the main benefit here is I'm just trying to run my sentries, though I have to actually be able to summon them for the vines to go up. Yeah, we, def we definitely need just something that increments me. Anything, really. Because the, the passive damage from my vines just keep going. Okay, so I'm going to try and explain how this build works because it's a giant mess. Uh, so, rocks. For every rock that I have summoned, up to currently five, I can maybe get it higher. Um, another canyon, another ant multiplication. Shoot. All of those are really good. I'm going to go ant multiplication. Uh, do I go sozu? Or Astrolabe. Whenever you play an attack, play the top card of your draw pile if it's an attack. Otherwise, discard it. Now, let's do Astrolabe. We got to get rid of cat, uh, Sparks. Sparks and a cat. And not Pain. So, Stinkbug. Frozen Rose. Tribute 1. If you tribute a plant... At the start of the next turn, draw two cards and discard one. Otherwise, fetch a plant from your draw pile and gain block, and... Discard eight random monsters from your draw pile. Deal damage equal to their combined total damage. Interesting. I like those. Okay, left side's really good, especially if I'm using tiny chests. That's all. The, that's a long mystery machine. Actually, no, both sides are. There's four here. No, left side is better. Okay, let's just do this. Okay, so every time I summon a rock, uh, er, bu, 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 bu. God, there's so much to describe. Do I actually want to do acid trap hole? Kinda? It's, okay, it's not actually that good. Now that I'm looking at it. Because I have, like, nothing. Ooh. Naturi and Maroon 2 is really good. Mm. Ah, how do I do anything? Okay. So we do that. Then we do the cliff. I didn't actually go Sozu, so let's chuck that. And channel some orbs.
Okay. Then I'm going to draw the Nichuria. And do the Stink Bug. There we go. That works better. This is a little messy. Okay, so the Star Smart Total su Summons. I can have up to uh, five. But I can upgrade that. What is my... Okay, so if I do this, then Frozen Ro uh, frozen Rose. Tributes for the next one. Ant Multiplication. I don't know where I'm at here. Ah, uh, God. Okay, so I can have up to five. And I want to fill it with stuff like rocks, because rocks uh, give me defensive perks. Every time I summon any Naturia creature, I get a Vine Token. Vine... Vine tokens do damage passively per turn based on how many Naturia creatures I have. Um, oh. Naturia rock, tribute to 15 damage. That's good. It's good damage, but it's not really that helpful for what I'm doing. Tribute 1, 9 damage, add a randomized monster to your hand. Rock plant, summon 2, random gem knight to your hand. I don't actually think I want any of these. In retrospect, uh, God, okay. Uh, store a copy of card, destroy strike, get out of here, castle walls. I actually should have gotten rid of pain, I don't know what I was doing. First two turns of combat, less damage from attacks. That's interesting, but I'm gonna go for the sapphire key, for better or worse. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna seek training. The ritual stick is absurd. Okay. Summon two, three vulnerable. I mean, I think I want to do Tulip, Stink Bug, Hydrangea. And now I can give him some Constricted. It's not much, but it's enough. Okay. He's doing 10 damage. Let's do Sentry and that. I really should have gotten rid of Pain. Oh, well. Canyon. Do I do an opaque caribou? No. What is my top one? Golem Sentry. So Frozen Rose is not going to be that helpful. Fetch a plant from your draw pile. Gain four block. I have no plants in my draw pile because I have nothing in my draw pile. But I should have a bunch of rocks, which gives me a bunch of defense. Okay, so for every Naturia creature that I've summoned, uh, it gives me vines. I do damage every round based on the amount of vines that I've created. But uh, I have to actually be able to keep summoning them, which means ticking up this orb. I also have leaves, which I can consume sometimes, but it's kind of weirdly finicky about it. I can consume leaves to give myself extra armor, but like I said, it's it's super finicky and doesn't work half the time. So let's just do another Frozen Rose. Why don't we grab another Marone, which I do want to upgrade if I can get the chance. Do I pop Alpac Caribou? Burn them all. There we go. And let's choose any number to discard. Just get rid of those. And pop a castle walls just so he doesn't touch me. Okay. Let's see. Golem sentry a bunch. Cliff. And that. So now he can't touch me. He really can't touch me. Okay. Acid trapple. Actually, we might just want to wait. Since I've got pain. No sense in hurting myself. And I just passively harm things by existing. There we go. Uh, let's see, what do we have? Naturia plant, tribute three, seven damage to all enemies, and plant. Summon one, four temporary HP, resummon a copy of the last plant you played. Exempt. Interesting. I kind of like copy plants. Oh, but it can't be resummoned. Oh, no, so I can use this as much as I want. That's certainly interesting. Otherwise, we grab Seismic Shockwave, which does a ton of damage and applies weak, which is actually really good. Uh, oh, gosh, what do we smith? Ant Multiplication, actually. 
Triple your max summon. So that brings us from 5 to 15. So if I stack that with stones, I become untouchable. Grab canyon. Grab rock. Burn. Just that. Okay, and some stink bugs just so they don't do any damage to me. But I do want to burn them, if I can. We get the Hydrangea. Beautiful. So that gets rid of that. We do Golem Sentry. I should have Canyon going. And I'm going to Constrict him. And then I do Frozen Rose. And then we do Big Rock. Or just another rock on him. Up with a ton of defense. Uh, okay, I'm going to take a smidge of damage. Just barely. But now we've got the... Now we get a lot. Okay, let's burn... Just a card to discard? Well, that's handy. Okay. So now I'm going to do Ant Multiplication. Where's my last one? Naturia Cliff. So Frozen Rose in the, isn't that helpful here. So in that case, more Sentry. And a Frozen Rose just to get me... More Constriction on him. Okay. So I've got a ton of tokens and sentries, so I'm just going to pop that. And then keep debuffing the heck out of them. We're not done yet. I will make you done. Just a giant pain. Okay. Let's do that. He's going to do 27. Here's the thing. What if more rock? Because the more rock I channel, the more armor I just passively gain. You cannot touch me. Gain 17 block. Acid trapple? Acid trapple! Oh shit, that did a ton of damage. And what do we get? Another canyon, another insect. Two damage for each... Uh... Wait, two damage and gain one leaf for every vine you have. Interesting. Naturia Dragon Tribute 5. Deal 22 damage. Shuffle 2. Cost reduced copies of a random Naturia into your draw pile. Interesting. Or vines are affected by strength. Leaves are affected by dexterity. Actually, at this point, we want to grab forest. Because we have some strength gain, I think. Otherwise, I go more canyon just for extra defense. Oh, I have no idea. What do you guys think? Just more tank boy? Or... Because I don't have any dexterity gain. Yeah, let's just go more tank boy. Nothing touches me. Nothing is allowed to touch me. I just want passive beef. Meal ticket, which means I heal when I go to shops, which is actually really helpful because, yeah. Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength. Bond pickup store a copy of one of your relics and eh, it's okay. Hmm... I mean, I feel like I should pick up Shuriken, but I'm not sure if that's helpful. Oh, first time you lose HP each combat. Gain a ritual. So actually, pain is really good for that. But no, we should, we should get rid of pain. Whenever you play a card, two damage to a random enemy. I mean, that's kind of okay. Hmm. I could grab that, but that's not that good. Actually, I might want to grab Imperial Order. It's cheap enough. Let's see. Paradiso is strength gain. Might be a good pick. Yeah, we'll go for those two. Because they also exhaust, so it's not a big deal. Oh boy, it's these guys. Hello. Uh, let's see. Apply Constricted to him. 
We do have Acid Trap Hole, which can do a ton of damage. If done well, sometimes does. Okay, this still hurts. Ow. Okay, let's go Canyon. Frozen Rose. Resummon one completely random upgraded uncommon monster. I'm gonna... Uh, hmm. I'm gonna go Ant Multiplication. Because I have enough defense that none of these guys are going to hit me at the very least. And it doesn't matter if I'm entangled because I don't actually generally attack. Canyon. Gives me some thorns and a little bit of extra defense. Uh, okay, this hurts. Only a smidge though. Let's just tank, because everything is spooky. I'm going to burn both of those, because I don't really want them. And let's make them vulnerable and weak. Oh, which means I should actually make it so that uh, vines are affected by vulnerability. Because that's actually really good. Uh, burn that? I, I don't know. I don't know where I'm at. Uh, that was not a thing to summon. I think I just murdered murdered it. All right, whatever. Duelist he said. Whenever you enter a rest site, start the next combat with five extra max summons. <laughs> Cripes. Okay, that's good. Wait. Naturia Brambi. 12 damage to all enemies. Gain vines equal to the number of Naturias currently summoned. Isn't that, like, utter stupid? That sounds really good. Okay, what else can I get? Whenever you gain vines, gain one leaf. That's good, but it's so expensive. And Magic Cylinder is hilariously good too, but... Yeah, I think we're just gonna stay away from these, unless I want to quaff a potion. Nah, I think I'm good. We'll just keep pushing onwards, get an item, gold-plated cables, write most orb triggers twice. I don't do orbs. Ah, uh, it's fine. Okay, so, yeah, I don't have it. Well, no. Okay, we'll be fine. So I'm going to start with the seismic shockwave, pop canyon, and then just constrict him. Because we want to focus on killing this guy, so I might as well just have him go slowly. Ah. Uh, Okay. Yeah, that'll do. So Pop Canyon and then Cliff. Because I want my defense to just kind of go up naturally. Uh, let's see, Imperial Order. Tempting. Yeah, let's do that. Because now I can just kind of chill here. Let's see, that's... that's a lot of spook. I don't want to do anything else, and this should give me more than enough defense. Yep, 42. That's a good spot to be in. Okay, do I just whammo him? Well, considering I have, like, no vines... Whatever. Now I got 10. The problem is it doesn't do any damage, I don't think. Because we don't have any... Well, that works out. That works out. Mantis. Four copies of the card into your draw pile. That's terrifying. I think I'll just skip. We're having a bit of a... Hefty deck problem anyway. 16 damage to all enemies. Vines equals the number of Naturias currently summoned. It's okay. Cost of two random spell or trap cards in your hand to zero, which is really good. Yeah, let's just do that one. It effectively means all of my blocks 
And attacks might just become free? Reasonably free. Uh, let's see. Well, I might as well constrict him. Vines equal to the number of Naturias currently summoned. Now, he's not actually going to hit me, so let's just start with that one. Okay, then we go Hydrangea. Burn some. Frozen Rose. So now we just have the Singular Nature token. He's an, If he's not attacking me, do I... No, he's going to... He's going to gain a bunch. Let's just tank up. We don't need Acid Trap Hole, and we get Ants for the next one. Oh, right, and my maximum is 10, but it's going to go up to 30. All right, let's just get rid of the Naturia Beast. Canyon, Ant Multiplication, Stink Bug, and Free Defensive Castle Walls, and now I'm just absurd. Okay, Canyon Plus again. Sentry. I kind of just don't want to do any of these. Eh, I'll do the Paradiso because I'm here. And I hit him with Vampire Grace, which I don't... What was that? I have no idea. It's gone. I cast a thing. Okay, do we do an Acid Trap Hole? Well, I might as well summon that. Acid Trap Hole just for some damage. Brambi, which increases my stuff. Nah, it's not like he's going to hit me here. Okay, so I got token, sentry, sentry. Oh, and he even tells me. He's hitting for 21. Ah, uh, you know what? I'll just lose all leaves. It's fine. Here's the other option that I have. Seismic that, that. I might want to do alpaca caribou. Burn it all now since I'm in a comfortable position. There we go. Okay. Stink bug, frozen rose. I'm just going to keep hitting him with everything I've got. Because I contribute left and right. Acid trap hole doesn't really do too much, but that's fine. And I've got more armor than I will ever need. Yeah, that double canyon is really good. Okay. Do we just do acid trap hole again? Yeah. Okay. Summon a couple of these suckers. Oh, shoot. That's fine. I should have done the Brambi, but at this point, my vines are absurd. Oh, he actually did a ton of damage to me. Rude. Burn that. Uh, let's see, where even are we at? I don't know, we're in weird stink bug territory. That's where we're at. Hit him with a Brambi. Castle Walls, another seismic shockwave. Gain that. Acid Trap Hole did no damage. Alright. Yeah, consider I can, I can hold up to 30 monsters now. It's like, how does that even function? Can you do this in game? Can you raise the number of monsters you have? Probably not. Exhaust up to three cards. Fill your summon zones with Naturia tokens. Probably not. Uh, let's see. I like the idea of another Ant Multiplication Plus. Because that puts me up to 90? Maybe. Start of your turn, draw an additional card. Whenever you shuffle your discard pile, three random cards to your draw pile. Eh. When you play four or more cards in your turn. At the start of your next turn, discard any number of cards and then draw that many. Hmm. Also multi-class silent. Or we go gambler's chip for the extra juice. I like the extra juice. But I'm not sure if we need it. I'm going to go for the Silent Spellbook, because that actually sounds really helpful. How many mods do you have installed now? It's like 50. I'm only, uh, I only have a couple of them currently running. 
because oh uh oh and this is time meter so we actually do want to hit up the shop here And I'm missing the red key, which I... You get that from a bonfire. Unless I'm mistaken. There we go. But yeah, I only I only turn on uh, one character mod every... Uh, every time I relaunch the game. Because I don't actually want to have like a bunch of them running simultaneously. It's not really worth it. Uh, let's start with Imperial Order, just because good. Two random offensive orbs. Chug. Start a turn, gain two strength until the end of turn, and Dark Orb, which is mostly functionally meaningless to me. Okay, it's gonna hurt just a smidge. But it pays for itself pretty quick. Okay, choose a card to discard, get out of here, castle walls. Oh, baby, what happened? I have no idea. Golem Sentry, Ant Multiplication. Just go with that. Alright, I am now untouchable. Really could have actually used the extra energy. Kind of? Kind of. Burn the beast and burn the alpaca caribou. And then we have all of these, which I'm just not sure where these are coming from. Oh, whenever you gain strength, add randomized metronome to your hand. Oh, that's that's what that does. Okay. Uh, sure. Rock, what do we burn? Uh, you know what? I actually like both of those. Attack net metronome. Bam. Firehorn dragon. Yuki Ona ice. And I can't do that one. Shoot, I should have started with that. Oh, well, it's fine. Okay, let's burn the castle walls. Because I like the stink bug. The maroon is kind of useless here, in retrospect. Stink bug! Now, do we want to... No, let's do that one. That's the trick. There we go. Any of these good? Whenever you summon a nat Naturia... Ooh, scribe one? Let's do that. Do we fight Seto? Screw it. He doesn't have Exodia. What's the worst that he can do? Freaking dragons, that's what. Uh, okay, here's the other problem. I'm gonna skip the Imperial Order. Okay, looks like he scales strength, which is a little spooky, but not overwhelmingly. Uh, yeah, okay, so the real answer is just that he cheats. I get ya. Okay, let's get rid of that. Grab the Mandrake. Okay. Well, at least making him very weak helps, but also hurts. Oh my god, his strength is... out of control. Okay, what is my current one? Natria Cliff. Well, he's going defensive. I might not actually be able to beat him here. Let's see, he's swinging for 19. Nah, I'm gonna just go for that. That way I can just summon everything. Yeah, he's not gonna hit me. I think I'll still be fine. I believe in the heart of the cards, and I also believe in the fact that I have, like, just gobs of rocks. I just need to... I just need more rock. Uh, let's see. 
I also really want to do that, get a little bit more. Okay, he's yelling about the blue eyes white dragon again, which is just spooky. What's my maximum of 45 summons? Oh. Right, this is our, our minimum. Um, no, I don't want to discard that. I want like all of these. Uh, let's see, still don't want to discard. Three summon two random worms. Just do whatever. Uh, gain thorns? Gain thorns. And what is the Bixie? Oh, let's do that. Uh, oops. I didn't actually mean to go for the Dan... Don Hydran... Naturia Hydrangea? I guess it's kind of worth it. Get him with a little bit more constriction. I think we're good. Okay, so I can return... Uh, I can get rid of some stuff. Let's get rid of the acid trap hole. And the tulip. Problem is I just don't have enough juice for all of these. Because I want to do a golem sentry and I want to do the rock. Yeah, I just want to rock up as hard as I can. Just keep replacing those. Because now my... Now he cannot hurt me. Do not worry, Yugi. At this point, Kaiba cannot hurt you, no matter how high his strength is. He cannot touch you. The bad man is gone. Anyway, let's get a whole bunch of vines and then just stink bu bug this sucker in the face. Oh, pot metronome. Actually, pot pots are scary. Well, he took 97 damage. That's good. And he was kind enough to give me a first aid kit. And we also get a something. Fuck. I mean, like, could do a Paradiso. Mosquito. Retain Naturia Insect. Summon one. Deal eight damage whenever it's retained. Shuffle, copy, and share. Draw pile. Let's grab that one just because it's free. Okay. Delta the Magnet Warrior. Rock, summon one. Six damage to three targets. Draw two magnet cards. Well, that doesn't really help me too much, but let's grab it because I... I have, oh, Millennium Coin. 100 gold for each other Millennium item you have. Which I'm pretty sure is just, just that. That's fair. Oh, well, it's fine. Canyon. Cliff. Rock. And let's burn all of these because I want to grab that one. We really needed some energy gain on this run. We're kind of still okay, but it could have been so much better. Let's just do that. Ooh, burns are mean. However, that's good. Tulip, Frozen Rose, and Magnet Warrior. This doesn't really help me too much, but that's fine. What are the numbers under the cards meaning? Oh, uh, it actually links to... Um, it actually links to a database that the developer of this mod specifically put together uh with all of with like a bunch of information telling you exactly like what it does and how it works and so on and so forth it's pretty nuts like the guy that made this went hard and i kind of love it okay these are fine we're good Get rid of that. Golem Sentry. Natural Cliff. Uh, we don't want the Beast, but I can't get rid of it. Yeah, being able to manage my hand whenever I want. Oh, well, this is a pain. Shockwave. Never mind. We're good. Let's see. Any of this. I think this is all our cane. Exhaust all Naturas in your hand and discard pile. Gain two temporary HP and shuffle random Natura into your draw pile. What? Wow. Luminous Moss is wild. And probably terrible. I think I might just not. Venom Shot ain't terrible. I think it all can also maybe just be upgraded further? I don't know. Either way, I don't think I want any of these. Well, we're not dead yet. Eh. Really depends on our luck, though. Okay, pop the mosquito. Ooh, ow? Eh. No, I think I'll be fine. Uh, the only immediate problem is we're going to summon a bunch of stuff that we kind of don't want at the moment, but it's okay. 
burn all of these. Unless I want to keep the Hydrangea. No, let's keep the Hydrangea. That way I can burn some of the things that I don't want. Burn them down a little bit. All right, we're good. Okay, so let's get rid of Acid Trap Hole and Bambi. And in retrospect, let's get rid of the Hydrangea because we no longer need it. Because now all I have to do is triple my max summons and then who cares? You can no longer touch me. Now that's some interesting mods. There's some wild ones here. I love it. Uh, let's see. I guess I could have Alpaca Caribou, but it's fine. It's Alpaca Caribou, a Yu-Gi-Oh card. It's got to be, right? Can't imagine it ain't. All right. So now I have a maximum of 45 monsters that I can summon, which more or less means just go bananas. Nothing can touch me. Okay. Oh, just one card to discard? Rude. Stink Bug, Magnet Warrior, and can't do anything else, but that's fine. And the just passive damage from Vines should take him out very slowly. How many monsters? Yes. Hey, okay. Is what is the maximum amount that you can summon in in Yu-Gi-Oh normally? Is it five? Any plans for the My Little Pony mod for Monster Trainer? Just slay the spire tonight. I was thinking we'd switch over to that next, yes. Because this isn't cursed enough. I mean like like it's weird. On a visual level, the fact that I'm playing as a literal plastic toy, uh is nothing short of stupid. On the flip side, like this is actually one of the better mods I've ever seen. Discard every monster in your draw pile, five damage for each monster discarded exhaust. Bottomless trap hole, hell yeah. Oh wait, actually energy potion is pretty good. I'm just gonna get rid of the en uh, energy drink. I don't think it's gonna help me at this point. Uh, let's get the key so I can fight the heart. Okay. Hmm. I like the Yu-Gi-Oh coin. Offer the Millennium coin. Uh, gain 30 gold for every other relic you have, which is a lot. Oh my god. Well, that's a lot of money. Sundial. Sure. Actually, instead of upgrading anything, I should probably rest. I'm pretty injured. Oh, sick. Okay, start of combat, 8 temporary HP. Tarot deck. First time you create a card during combat. If it's an attack, two strength, skill, two dexterity, power, four HP, status, exhaust it. And if it's cur curse, raise your max HP. I mean, those are pretty good. First and foremost, let's remove something. I'm just going to get rid of this sucker. He has actually no use. Start turn, resummon one ran random Naturia monster on a random enemy. Gain energy at the start of your next turns. Exhaust. It's like it's kind of good. What's the upgrade on it? Eh, it's okay. Frankly, I think I'm just going to buy all of those. We want as many relics as I can because we've got another shop showing up no, uh, momentarily. <sighs> Double my gold again. Nah. I'll just take some damage. Get a random duelist relic, which does what? Yugi's Mirror. Pawn pickup, duplicate a random tribute card in your hand. Duplicated copy. Oh, in your deck. Cost zero. Oh, so that's a second Preda plant. Okay, that's actually kind of good. Let's go shopping. As much as the extra relic from the question mark spot would be nice. Is that Dale Grove with pocket poison? <laughs> Why is Dale here? Start of combat, poison all enemies. Eh. Uh, usable, ooh, matchstick. Usable once per combat for just some bonus energy. Sure. Alright, there we go. We are as beefed out as we possibly can. I cast Dale. I cast Dale! <laughs> ooh, uh, let's see. Well, all things considered, we might as well just immediately right click, gain this. I don't think I have any magnet cards to begin with. And let's just burn all of these because I want none of them. Okay. 
Uh, let's see. So let's get rid of Acid Trap Hole. And Frozen Rose. And that. And that. We just want Canyon. Okay, so we start with Canyon. What is the last thing I summoned? Eh, it's okay. Uh, how do I want to do this one? Well, they're not going to be able to hurt me, are they? They will a little bit. Alternatively, if I just do castle walls... Eh, it's fine. Hit him. Oh, that gets me a little bit more. Bramby. It's fine. And Bramby does not exhaust. Alright, we're good. We have now entered the big number go up, push button to win phase. Absolutely. Get out of here, alpaca caribou. You're not useful. Wow. Alright. Big ants. Maximum of 90 summons! If only this wasn't just an incredibly short fight. Bye. It's fine. Fear potion doesn't really help me. Uh, let's see. Naturia bamboo, which totally looks like just poop. Uh, another pair of Deso. No, let's go with the Cosmo Beat. Summon an alien. Alright, what do we upgrade? Because... Pocket... Do we upgrade Dale? Oh, we upgrade Dale. Why is there no King of the Hill mod for this game? I ask you that. I wish to know. Okay. I guess I'm going to summon to Hydrangea to give it the... that. Perfect. Let's see. I've got 19. So I, we might as well constrict him. The question is, do we make him really weak? Yes. Okay. What do we get rid of? Get rid of the Brambi. Get rid of the Cliff. Okay. Ant multiplication and... Well, I do Golem Sentry. He's only gonna... Nah, let's just do can Canyon. Golem Sentry would make more sense, but... Not at the moment. Okay, Ant Multiplication again. Maximum Summons is now 90. Pocket Poison just because. Uh, Paradiso. He's at 9. Do I do a Bottomless Trap Hole? Bam! Just to get rid of it. And a frozen rose. Okay. Gain all block that we can. Let's see. Now I can get rid of as many of these as I possibly want. So let's get rid of all, all of them because I need some rocks. None of these are rocks, which is a little unfortunate. Oops. Ow. Hit him with a mosquito. Hit him with a rock. I thought this thing... Oh, right. Spoon saved me. Uh, let's not actually get rid of the stink bug. We also have the aqua. Which gave me a bunch of temp... Man, I don't even know. Really should probably be summoning those Cosmo Beats just because alien kind of useful. Okay. Any number of things to replace. Bottomless Trap Hole. Get out of here. Because we want to summon a sentry and we want a stink bug. And then I think we kind of just want to wait. Oh, I should have I should have done the warrior metronome. Oh, well. Did it just call me out? I think it might have. I wasn't exactly paying attention. I am just on a weird journey today. Uh, let's see. Well, magnet warrior for some more rock. That and I can't do anything else, but that's fine. Why is Yugumoto climbing the spire? When I saw modded spire, I was not expecting that. Pocket poison. <laughs> um, baby, this is busted shit. All right, let's just do that. Give me some more vines. And no, it's not Yugimoto. It's a plastic toy of Yugimoto, as far as I can tell. And a really bad, bad version of it, too. <laughs> 
Okay. Uh, let's get rid of all of those. They're not helpful. Get an alien. Uh, discard those. I don't want them. Let's see. Any number of cards to discard. No, I have a pocket poison. You know what? Just whatever. Whatever happens, man. Whatever happens, happens. Uh, get, uh, keep the mosquito. Get, get rid of the other one. Throw some pocket poison. Where are we at? What is happening? The aliens have taken over. And I can do nothing. Look at all that armor. You can't touch me. I think it's a badly cut out gif of a 3D model. Yup. I'm pretty sure that's exactly the case. Uh, well. Let's just burn those, see if I get anything better. We do. We get the Marin. Uh, get rid of that. Oh, shoot. We might as well grab another Cosmo Beat just to cycle cards harder. Because at, th at this point, we're actually Tingsha killing him. There's the Golem Sentry. Hell yeah. And Rock. Eat Tingsha, boy. What is my vine? Oh my god, my vine is absurd. 134 damage. <laughs> oh, baby, burn everything. I care not for any of you. Let's summon more alien just so this gets further out of hand. Oh, shit. I was going to double my vines again and then shit happened. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to do that. We had a Dale Gribble for a bit, but he is gone and replaced with everything else. Let's burn both of those because they have no functional bearing on what I'm trying to do. I need a Bambi, damn it. Uh, none of those. Pocket poison to restock a smidge. Except for I'm, I'm not able to restock, but he also dies. What happened? I'm lost. I'm so confused. Everything is weird. Anyway, time to kill the heart as Yugi freaking Moto. <laughs> what is the head cannon for this? I need to know. What is the deep lore? Oh god, let's just grab that thing. Aliens, you just threw the deck at him. It's true. Hi, hello. I, oh god damn it that actually would have been really lovely unfortunately I can't do anything here some of them might have actually been kind of cool I mean apotheosis would have been nice but that's okay don't care hi oh Bessie this is good stuff start of the turn okay that's less helpful let's just do that uh I guess I'm gonna do golem sentry and Insect multiplication. Yeah, they're not gonna hit me. I'm untouchable. I'm made of plastic. Not pixels. Not this weak bull hockey that you're just chucking my direction. I have more summon slots than sense. Oh, it actually is gonna hit me. Oh, but it only touched my, my temporary HP. Well, that's fine. Alright. What's my last one? D Magnet Warrior. Eh. Pocket Poison. Flip around so he doesn't hit me too much. Because uh, he is actually going to hit me. This is going to gonna hurt. Hmm. I guess let's do the Paradiso. And... Oh. Well, I'm just going to summon a random-ass dragon. Naturia dragon. Perfect. Things happened there. And... Brambles. Cool. I need more rocks. This hurts. Oh. This hurts because I didn't have my good stuff. I gave him block from leaves. Nah, that's garbage. Okay, canyon, canyon, and then rock or cliff. If I flip, I think I'll take less damage. Uh, I'm gonna just drink that to go back up. Ah, I take two. I'm trying. Go for the combo. Wait. Completely random upgraded Legend of Blue Eyes card. What does any of that do? 
What happens? Things happen. We get a bunch of Kaizijin, which is cool. Except for, like, I don't want it, but that's fine because we're starting to stack rock. Okay. So I'm going to flip so he can't look at me. Grab that. Uh, choose one card to solder, solder two? Uh, that one. What does that do? What happened? I have no idea. Whenever you summon, gain zero block. Well, that's painful. Uh, but that's fine. Okay. Do we do ant multiplication? Yes. Can't do anything else, but I think I should have enough defense. No. Nope. It's okay, we take one. The problem is I'm just losing just a little bit here and there. Okay, let's just summon a random machine. Which tributed X, which is a little worrying. What do we even have still? I have no idea. I need more rock. I need Imperial Order. At some point, but no dice. Combo beat. Okay. Red Dragon. Uh, you know what? I want the Stink Bug. The rest of these I don't know about. Definitely don't want that one. Okay, not my habit. Favorite. Oh, wait. Rare base game card. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's a free Reaper. And that summons a shit ton of dragon. Okay, and we don't take any damage. Perfect. We are good. I've been waiting for Golem Sentry to show back up again. Wait, what? Didn't I... Didn't I already do ants? Uh, why is my maximum summons 810? What happened? Oh, it's because of the spoon! They're not exhausting, which means I can keep using them. Well, summon one relic token at the start of each combat. I don't know what that does, but cool. Oh, fleeting. Upgrade all naturally cards in your deck. Well, ain't that handy. Great time for it, that to show up. Alright, time to fight this sucker. Let's see what happens. Well, we get Canyon off the bat. And that. Uh, let's see. Could you more? I don't think it's hitting me. Uh, but here's the thing. I'm gonna drink this. I'm gonna drink this. Catapult zone. Whenever you're attacked, if you have any rocks summon, tribute X rock and receive no damage. At the start of each turn, deal damage to all enemies equal to the number of rocks currently summoned. Choose a guard type. At the start of each turn, draw one card of that type. I don't know, I like Catapult Zone. It might be a complete waste. You never know. Pocket Poison. Oh, well, that would have been helpful. Oh, well. That's a lot of stinky status effects. Burn that. Uh, burn that, burn that, burn that. We want none of those. Oh man, what the hell? Well, this is gonna hurt. That's only 36 damage. It's just ripped by plated armor. Kind of reliant on that stuff. Oh, this sucks. Okay, who do we grab? Uh... There we go. Okay, we've got the alien now. Which means I can do some stuff. I've... Okay. Shit hurts. Okay, cards to replace. A pack caribou. We don't want that. Mosquito, and we don't want... We actually do kind of want Leo Drake's main. Okay. Burn that. Uh, let's see. I really resummon three completely random upgraded cards. That's interesting. Uh, I'm gonna go for the mosquito. Play for free. Okay, I think that just summoned a bunch of rocks, which is great. Discard Dale. 
Because we don't need Dale at the moment. Get some of these. Keep that. Actually, maybe not, because it's useless. I don't have enough mana. Oh, but I don't have enough mana for anything. Okay. 31. Any number of things to replace. Okay, let's do those. Because here's the thing. We can do... A stink bug. A paradiso. Golem sentry. I have been desperately needing. Get that. Get rid of you. Don't care. Cliff. More rock. It's weak. And that's fine. Tribute anything. No thank you. I'm not here to tribute. Alright. Let's get rid of these. No, we might as well keep Dale. Okay, start with Ent Multiplication. Uh, what is my maximum? 141. So I'm going to stop doing Ant Multiplication for at least a little while. Unless, of course, I have no choice. Okay, do we bother with an Acid Trap Hole? Maybe. Uh, let's see. Screw it. More aliens. Keep that. I can do nothing else. But that's fine. How much have I summoned? Not enough. I need more rock. But that's fine. Uh, let's grab... Let's, let's gribble. Let's get rid of all of these things. Tingsha for days. Uh, let's see. Magnet Warrior. Does some damage. Shit happens. I am confused. More rock. The rocks will save my life. And more aliens. Keep these things. What is this? Ghost trick card. I don't know what a ghost trick is. We're doing it. What does it do for me? Ghost trick Jack Frost. It happens. I got it. We're fine. Alright, what is this? Upgraded attack trap. Warrior. Worm. Insects. Hydrangea. More insects. I'm throwing the literal deck at this man to see what sticks. And the answer is su surprisingly large amounts of things are sticking. Well, that's free, so I might as well do anything that's free. Don't discard my Naturia rock. Or it's dead? No, it just got discarded. Whatever. Stink bug. I don't want to discard Brambi. Actually, I've been kind of hoping Brambi would show up at some point, but unfortunately we keep cycling things out because... Oh, no, we've actually burned all of my alien orbs somehow. I'm not actually sure how that happened. I'm not sure how anything happened, man. I'm just along for the ride. Eh, let's just keep this. Brambi! And d War. what happened, man? Where was this? What ha- Was the- <laughs> It's time to kick your ass. I love the fact that there is a custom ending animation. <laughs> <laughs> Except for, well, it's not really an ending anime. Wait, <laughs> we killed Kaiba, I, I think. <laughs> Why the heck not? <laughs>